time when every star fall brought you to tears again we are the very hurt you so and what's the worst you take from every heart you break and like the blade you'll stain while beholding on tonight what's the worst that i can say things are better if i stay so long and good night so long and good night well if you carry on this way Things are better if I stay so long and good night, so long and good night. Pisces! Sorry, that was loud. Welcome to your mid-February to March reading of this current year. This is for the Sun of Pisces, Cross Watchers, in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So check your charts if this doesn't resonate with you. I don't know. Just boop your nose, away it goes. No point in worrying about shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Ain't none of your business unless you know and That's why we're all here, right? We just want to know. Pisces, I was singing um, Helena by My Chemical Romance, in case you're concerned. Um, I don't know why that song came up, but I actually was reading the lyrics to the song, and it was like, ah. Oh. This reading might be about, like, somebody who, uh. <laughs> oh, the timing. The timing. The timing's uh, like, I know Pisces. And oh man, like that song really hit home. Now I'm looking at these cards like shit. We have the Five of Cups reverse here with. Come the fuck here. The Two of Wands, right? This is my new dolly. So it's new, right? Look at this bitch. She's just like, I've made the decision to go forward into the great unknown. And here it's like, I'm not sure if I want to ruin my dress. Like, this is expensive, and I can't get this anymore. They don't sell it anymore, even though I got it at Walmart. It's like, there's a lot of regret with that, right? It's just like not taking the option to going out the door. You know, down below in the situation, we have the Knight of Wands coming in riding gallantly with a great big energy, looking like a fucking elephant aura, right? For that victory. Do, 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 do. This is the first I've been able to sing all fucking day, honestly. Like, I'm saying a little bit, but not very much. You guys are the only ones, and I sound nasally because I've been sick all day. All right, Pisces, that's your card. The High Priest, or not the High Priest, the Hanged Man. I'm not sure what the fuck that is. I sh think I should. It looks familiar, but I'm not sure what that is. But I know this is your card, Pisces, and you're there hanging out. Like, you're in a fucking swamp, or whatever, but there's, like, this thing dripping where there looks like there's two people around ready to kiss, and it's like, are you wanting to be single somewhere, or are you hoping to be single? Down below, we got the obstacles of challenge. We have the five of sword right here. Look at this dude all gallying and shit, just being like, yeah, look at me, covered in butterflies with my five swords. Kind of treacherous dude, right? Because the five of swords can talk about someone playing mind games, right? There's someone over there getting seduced, but this person's mind games isn't working as well as they were. When it comes to giving affection to this bro over here, or some shit, right? Like, someone's got, like, fire in their chart. Someone also likes performing a role because it gets them what they want, too, I feel like. Kind of like the song Helena, a little bit. It's kind of like, it, 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 to me, when I hear that song, when I first saw the song, when it first came out, I loved it because I thought it was like a tribute to a bitch. But then I realized they were burying this bitch because they were sick of her shit. But they were very far from burning her because she was basically doing it to herself. So it was just like, oh, oh I guess this is for Pisces because I just heard the song. My friend leased it because somebody pieced it together with, like, My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. And it just was like, this doesn't sound right. This uh, it, it, It's too calm. It's too okay. And it's about, like, being done with a bitch, you know? That's what the song's about. 
And I can't help but feel that that's what you're getting into yourself. You're done with your Helena. Pisces. We have the Four of Wands right here in the Fears and Rejections. Look at everyone having merriment in this party. Nope, not no more. Closed. We don't shop here anymore. And that's because there might be a fear or rejection of getting out of something, right? But it feels like the door is closed on you to get out of it, too. Like, yeah, the door is open over here, but you're worried about regrets and shit like that or whatever. Or maybe your person is. Pisces and cross watchers. We got the magician reversed, Mr. Dolly himself. Looking like all his mechanisms have lost their mind and driven him crazy. And now it just feels like he's trapped. The vibration is the lovers, though. It's like a pairing, for sure. What I think is weird is that the behemoths in the Dolly deck are always covered, but the women are always naked and visible and shit. It's just like... I don't know, I guess the male body in Spain is more like, um... Avertive than like the female, if avertive is a word, but who knows? What you looking at, kitten? Going to the window trying to observe shit, trying to tear up my Well, you don't tear up my blinds. You're a good kitty. So let's see, Pisces, what's up for you. But yeah, I, like the only reason the Helena song stuck with me is because I listened to it once and then I listened to the original song and then it stayed in my head right before I started with you guys. It was like, oh yeah, this song's for you guys then, you know? Especially since I ain't sung anything to really anybody all day. Come here. Yeah. Um, someone might be playing a tune that's very nice to your ears. Or you could possibly be like writing this shit up. Being like, oh yeah, everything's awesome. Everything's fine. I got my pets and everything. We're cool. You know. Hmm. Someone's got spy work going on with you? Are you doing spy work, Pisces and Cross Watchers? Cause look at all these ducks she's raised and shit all flying around doing shit for her, you know? It's like this person sings a song and people do their bidding. Well, they got words or some shit. The situation down below, Knight of Wands with the Six of Wands. Person is put on display of a victor. Ah, shit. There it is. Okay. Yeah, they're not very balanced and they are putting in their dues, it seems like. But they do cause a lot of conflict to go on. Like, shit, look at all that chaos. Look at all the foxes just hopping and shit. None of them are trying to dig a hole. So that's weird. They're all just excited and roaming around and jumping and hopping. But not in natural ways. Not in ways that flow right. Because, you know, like, this fox right here, this one up here, that kind of looks like what a fox would do. But most foxes can't jump that... F I don't think foxes can jump that high. I mean, I don't know. I kind of want a fox, but then my husband showed me a video of, like, how hard it is to take care of a fox. And it's just like, fuck. I still want a fox, though, because they're cute. They also are roamers. They roam and dig holes a lot. They have, like, they'll dig holes into anything, which is like, huh. Well, that's interesting. I never knew that about foxes. I know they dig holes, but shit. But they're actually natural roamers. But they'll dig a hole through your bed, your shoes, your floor, your walls, your ceiling, metal. And this person has, like, a whole bunch of foxes just doing tricks and shit. Very unbalanced. Jesus, yours is all flying and shit, right? Your wants and wishes. Um, what was this again? The hangman. You're in a swamp. You want to be single, I feel like it. But it's like you don't know how to get out of this like trap ten of swords energy entirely. You're still kind of wrapped up in it. But that's actually not the case. You're, you're not wrapped up in anything, actually. Pisces? Maybe that's the mental image they give you with their tricks and acting like a victor and all this shit. Just fucking with you or whatever. Obstacles and challenge for this person. What was this card again? Oh, Five of Swords. Yeah, they like to play roles and shit. This person is definitely, like, which is weird, Pisces, because, like, out of all of the Zodiacs, you're the very last one. So you're capable of taking on the abilities, the emotions, the thoughts, and the meanings of everybody. And sometimes that can be hard to distinguish what is and is not yours. 
And I think this person makes twists it around to make it seem like it's you that's the problem because they offer you affection like almost right after it. But that stuff's starting not to work anymore because there's something here that's causing you to recognize that something isn't true. Like some, like yeah, I said that in your New Year's reading that I did for y'all. Like there's gonna be something that clicks in February that makes you realize, you know, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm upside down. I need to put myself right back up as the hangman reverse and look at everything from a different perspective. Right? Hmm. I saw my friend a narc, a narcissist the other day, and they laughed. That's kind of scary now. Anyway, um, third party situation might lead to a breakup in this scenario, Pisces. And so if you're in a third party, it's going to cause a breakup. But I don't feel like that's a bad thing, you know, because it seems like you and your person, or maybe they and you, just don't get along. Either or. Yeah. Pisces, like I was saying before, you guys could fit any role. Here's my thing when it comes to trying to figure out if you're feeling something or if someone else is feeling something right. What brought you to feel that way? Or better yet, would you feel that way if that person wasn't in your presence? That's the best way to figure out your fucking emotions. Or better yet, just think, even if that is the case, what's the worst thing that could happen? Okay, so what would I do about that situation after that? Because, you know... Like, yeah, this could be an end result right here, but there's shit that happens after that. You know, you're not dead yet. But that's what I feel about this. I'm, I'm like, in a way, I kind of feel like if you're in a third party, it was meant to make you realize that, like, there is an escape from the third party. But it involves being single. Or some shit. Or someone's figuring that out about you. Above and the fears of rejections. What the fuck was this card again? Oh yeah, four of wands reversed with this devil card. Something's closed off. And it's probably this bad relationship right here. Could be with a Capricorn. Or you're afraid it's closed off. Could be a King of Swords, Air Sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Feeling a little bit like they gotta wait for shit for this new clean slate. Or are you waiting for them so you can start this leap of faith? Because, you know, with this card, this isn't actually a javelin. A piece of it actually got ripped out, but it looks like she's about to shoot a javelin in the air. Just perfect spotting, right? Right on her hand. But that's kind of what it looks like. They're right ready to shoot something out. Which I'm really glad that that happened to that card, because it was such much, so much more of an emphasis on its meaning to me. Like, just little imperfections like that makes things so much more special. Fun fact, did you know that with, like, certain pottery in, like, either Japan, China, I'm not sure, they would actually fill it with gold because they thought the imperfections were, like, a blessing or something? I don't know why where that came from, but I thought it's special, so it's, like, maybe something won't be perfect, but you're still waiting on it. Just so you can make a jump, right? Alright, so how this shit starts, how it'll end, a magician reverse, bad manifestations being overburdened. Might need to send a message or some words about a new start, or you might have to send a message, or maybe you're waiting for a message about a new beginning, whether it's with your new person or with the person you were already dealing with. Let's see, what's the ending theme with this lover's card? This pairing, right? King of Pentacles reverse definitely could be an earth sign involved here, but someone does not feel like they're able to provide. Maybe they feel like there's a liar involved, too. But I don't feel like someone's lying as much as they can't... Complete something, I think, is the best way of putting it, Pisces. Or they're unable to be rooted in this uh, lover scenario. Either way, there's someone who's a Helena here. Who, um... isn't really doing their part as much as they should, I feel. And I feel like that pisses you off more than anything because it's like, you try? Or it could be the other way around. Maybe they try and you're just not putting it in. Either way. So, the energy and vibe up here with this Queen of Wands and this Page of Swords. Someone who looks like they look good, 
But they snoop a lot. It's like they're paranoid or some shit. Need to let go of that nonsense. For rizzle, my nizzle. You know? And just be fucking single. Yeah, that's the Nine of Pentacles again. Be single and be happy with it. Just let it the fuck go. The situation down below. Six of Pentacles reversed with the Five of Wands. Someone's unfairness causes most of the conflict. It's like they can't be your equal. Um, oh, there's the King of Swords. I don't think the Emperor's been out yet, but still, this person it definitely could be an air sign. Um, isn't really speaking any sort of truth, this air sign is, right? Because they think that it's okay. I don't know if this is the same King of Swords, though. Because this one's carrying an energy of, like, waiting for something, and this one's carrying an energy of not saying something. But based on the right thing to do. I mean, it could be the same, but, you know, if you're waiting to say something in order to take the leap of faith, it makes sense, but it feels like these are two different people. Wants and wishes. Um, someone is badly man uh, shooting themselves in their own foot. Like, you know, you want to take that leap of faith, but here you are with a sword aimed at the bitch's back. Ready to stab. Be like, no, 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 no. You don't get to have a happy ending here. You don't get to start something new. Um... Are you only seeing yourself as just the side chick? Downplaying your role in your own experiences or how they experience you? Because, truth be told, Pisces, like, if you are in a third party, which I would think you are, because this keeps coming up in yours, especially. Um, whatever's going on with this third party, it's opening your eyes, right? Like, I, I, like, I know that there are people who are just like, oh, cheating's wrong or whatever, but, like, it, it, because... Of moral conditionings and societal standards of what they think loyalty and fate and you know like faithfulness is and all that shit, right? But there are but there are but there are limits. There are limits, I will say. And I feel like no matter who's doing what in the role, this third party is playing a significant role to you to make you realize that, you know, you're in a position where um it's almost like, why am I dealing with this shit if I don't have to? You know, it's almost like you're opening your eyes and suddenly figuring out you don't have to stay in a situation if you don't want to. Like, it's like giving you a different perspective. Like, like I was saying before, like, you're as the hanged man. Let's see, obstacles and challenges. This third party situation might lead to a breakup right? But that's only to avoid learning a lesson twice. I'm causing someone to walk away without a chance. Or you're going to avoid a tower by getting out of dodge because you already know what's going to pop up and you don't want to deal with that shit all over again. Let's see. how The fears and rejections waiting on someone else, I feel like, to make a leap of faith. That door is definitely open and people are getting ready to go, bro. I mean, I think you're afraid that it doesn't seem that way, but it is. They're just waiting on you, I think. Or waiting for the time and the place to have an argument where there's no reconciliation. Holy shit. It's like, this shit's not repairable anymore. Fuck it, we're going. Get on the bus, Pisces and Crosswatcher. Get on the goddamn... Get on the bus! We have snacks. We got chips and shit, right? Hmm. Hmm. How interesting. Indeed. All right. How does it start? How it'll end? Sending messages of a new start, or waiting for messages on a new start. Right. Might have to take care of yourself for a while there, Pisces and Cross Watchers, which is fine. Some self healing is always good. But be gentle with yourself. Um. Oh, it's actually the Queen of Swords. You might be going to... Like, if you're dealing with an air sign, you might be going to a completely different air sign. What's the next card? I'll lay one more and then we're done. Oh my, yeah. Pisces, you might be dealing with an air sign. 
But you might go to a different air sign. Or at least someone with air in their chart, right? But that might be the angle that's happening right now. So, that's the reading I got for y'all. Yay. So, if this helps you, good deal. If you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. That'd be awesome. Thanks for watching my vids, of course. I love y'all's faces. I hope you have a good day, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.